Checking in, General Aves. Captain Kentara said you needed me? If we need you anywhere on Corellia, it's here. We're getting close, and the Imperials know it. We've been on the march since the blockade ended. When we reached Axial Park, the Empire was waiting. Axial Park is the gateway to Capitol Square, and a monument to Republic history. Failure isn't an option here. As long as I get to see some action. Sabotage squads, snipers, you name it. All led by some elite commanders we haven't been able to identify. Every time we gain some ground, our troops get ambushed. Between the Special Forces and the Imperial Army, my men are overwhelmed. We're about to start a major offensive into Imperial territory. I need someone on the battlefield dealing with these ambushes as they appear. Whatever the Empire throws at me, I can handle it. I believe it. We've got to secure the ground we have. Our engineers are creating a perimeter of trenches around the command center. The engineers have armed escorts, but the Empire's hit them hard. They'll need your protection until the trenches are stabilized. Tell your men to get working. I'll keep the Empire busy. Move fast and take them down hard. There's too much at stake for games. I've got my scouts working to find special forces before they strike. As reports come in, I'll contact you with your next objective. Make sure you're prepared before you head out. There's no time to rest on the battlefield.
Soldiers have reached the corner, too. They're reporting Imperial snipers firing from inside. Take out the snipers, but be careful. There's plenty of places at the Coronet Zoo for them to hide.
have reached the rendezvous point, General Aves. Good work. The Republic's taking care of what's left of the Empire's special forces. Those commanders you ran into were Imperial Guard, the most elite fighting force in the galaxy. If the Imperial Guard has landed in force on Corellia, this battle's nowhere close to over. We've got to get past them first. What's the plan? We've got to find the Imperial Guard before they find us. Tracing their dispatch orders will be our best bet. The Imperial Command Center's not far from here. Use the spike to take control. Our techs will scan for any orders related to the Imperial Guard. With their special forces down, the Imperial Guard might attack. You brought the Republic this far. Our troops will give you as long as you need. The Empire's jammed our portable comm frequencies. Use their comm station to contact me once you've spiked their systems. The command center is the Empire's last holdout in Axial Park. Get inside and find out what they're planning.
Spike's in, General. You should have access to the Empire's systems. Our techs are hacked in and ready. Now let's see where the Imperial Guard's been hiding. Imperial Guard orders are being transmitted from the Museum Republica. Looks like they want to hit us where it hurts. That rules out aerial bombardment, or a major assault. One stray grenade could destroy centuries of history. Does the Imperial Guard have any weaknesses? They're isolated from the rest of the Empire. They only answer to their commanding officer. These dispatch orders come from Commander Tainer, head of the Imperial Guard. Commander's the one with the battle plan. If something happened to him, it would take time for the Imperial Guard to adjust. Have you faced Commander Tainer before? He's ruthless. Officers have surrendered rather than face him. If the Commander's smart, he'll post a few men at the door and hide the rest in the museum. Move fast and stay sharp. The Museum Republica's collection dates back to the founding. Spare anything you can from the crossfire. The Imperial Guard might not be so considerate. If damage has to be done, I'd rather it be the Empire's fault. Get inside the museum and find the commander. I'll send reinforcements as soon as I can.
You must be Commander Taynor. And you're the reason half my guardsmen aren't responding. I've been waiting a long time for you to reach us. The Republic must be doing well. The Republic has the Empire cornered. Yet most of the Imperial Guard remains here. The Imperial Guard has no interest in Corellia or the Republic's claim. Our men in the field were sent to challenge you. The Emperor is aware of your presence. Your interference can no longer be allowed. I fight for the Republic, like any other soldier. Dying for them should earn you a place in this museum. My men can find a suitable spot. Those who challenge the Imperial Guard challenge the Emperor himself. Countless worlds. Countless armies. To fall here? We are an extension of the Emperor's power. He cannot be defeated. I cannot be defeated! I'm still waiting for that surrender. I failed the Emperor. I will not shame him by surrendering. I swore an oath of loyalty to the Emperor. To break it is unforgivable. My mistakes cannot go unpunished. Kill me. Forget the Emperor. You're the Republic's prisoner now. Serving the Emperor has been my life. Keeping me alive now would be torture. Checking in, General. Looks like the Imperial Guard was cleared out. Commander Tainer survived the battle. Yes, sir. I'll relay the message. General Aves apologizes for our timing, but it looks like we weren't needed. We'll secure the museum. The General requests that you meet him back at the command bunker ASAP. You've arrived just in time to witness the final troop deployment into Axial Park. The Empire's making a last stand. It might get messy, but we can hold our ground. Commander Tainer's already been transferred off-world. A lot of people wanted him dead. Helping him fall on his sword didn't appeal to me. Some time in a cell could change his perspective. Maybe he'll stop thinking devotion and start thinking revenge. With Axial Park under control, Capitol Square is just a tram ride away. We've already started planning our offensive. The Legislature will be our primary target. The Empire's turned it into a fortress. 
It'll take more than firepower to get inside. Counselor Belos might know a few shortcuts. The Counselor's risked his neck for us already. We contact him now. He might lose it altogether. Cole Cantaris is familiar with the Legislature's security from his days in the Council Guard. He'll be our best starting point. You'll find Captain Cantaris in the Council Guardhouse in Capitol Square. He should be able to brief you. Let Cantaris know I'm on my way. I'll get back to troop deployment. When we know our next move, my men will be ready. pads are currently open for business.
Good you're here. We've got trouble. You remember Counselor Balos? Captain Kataris tells me the Republic's on their way here. You can't attack the Legislature yet. The Empire's taken control of the Ion Wall, Corellia's most powerful defense system. They're planning to use it against the Republic. How did the Empire get control of the Ion Wall? The Corellian Council offered it to them. Only we have the codes to operate it. You happen to tell them our position and troop numbers, too? But I have the codes. Why not turn it on the Legislature's defenses instead? Won't the Empire expect a counterattack? They've been led to believe it's an impossibility. First, you'll need to point the Ion Wall's emitters at the Legislature. They've been concealed inside statues around Capitol Square. Once the emitters are realigned, the Ion Wall can be activated. The controls are located inside Intracorellian Intelligence. That's the catch. Intracorellian Intelligence was one of the first places the Empire took over. It'll be crawling with Imperials. Some Republic troops or a Corsac squad might even the odds. You head over with more than you've got and the Empire will know something's up. Nice and quiet is our best strategy. The Imperials aren't the only danger, I'm afraid. Several members of the Dark Council arrived in Capitol Square a few days ago. One of them, Darth Acheron, was dispatched to Intercorellian Intelligence to keep the Ion Wall safe. You'll have to get past him. How does Darth Acheron fight? I only met him briefly. He has a short temper and a powerful grip. If you can avoid both, you'll live. I should go. There's a secure line from Intercorellian Intelligence to my office. Contact me once you've activated the Ion Wall. The guardhouse is still linked to the legislature. We can't control their defenses, but we can tell when they go down. I'll get Corsic and the Republic into position. The minute you activate the Ion Wall, we attack.
here. Another chance, my lord. You'll need us. The Republic's agent. Too powerful. I see very few Republic soldiers and a worm making excuses. Soldiers are often more trouble than they're worth. You deserve better from your opponents. Maybe it's time for the Empire to surrender. Military standards mean nothing. You face the Dark Council now. The Republic did well to send you here. If activated, the Ion Wall would disable ships, artillery, even the weapon in your hand. But your contact should have told you that the Ion Wall cannot be destroyed through the controls alone. I'm gonna use it on the Empire instead. Impossible. And you won't live to try. <laughs>
perfectly. The Empire's scrambling to find reinforcements. Now's your best chance. General Ayers is starting the assault. Head for the Legislature. Catch up with their men inside. Does the Empire have a plan of attack? Without the Ion Wall, all they can do is hit the Republic with everything they have. It won't be pretty. I must go. The Empire's moving the Council to a secure location. No more comm calls. I bet my life on a Republic victory. Don't disappoint me now. It was an ambush, General. Imps came through a hidden entrance. Lost our CEO, but the cavalry showed up just in time. You've got my thanks. The Ion Wall did plenty of damage. But the Empire's recovering fast. The Corellian Council's shortcuts aren't helping. As long as the Empire has the Council, they have their inside knowledge. We have to find them.
Counselor Bela said they were in a secure location. We've gone over the schematics with Captain Cantaris. He's identified a holdout room intended to keep the Council safe in an emergency. Darth Hadra of the Dark Council was their escort. If they're in the holdout room, she'll be in there with them. There's an awful lot of Imperials to get through first. We've mapped out the most direct route. My troops will be drawing a lot of their fire. You have Republic reinforcements, of course. Captain Cantaris is leading his own assault, but assures me his officers will come if called. The Green Jedi has also promised to send who they can spare. How can I reach them if I'm in trouble? Our techs have rigged the Legislature's comm stations to connect directly to Republic dispatch. Use them to call for backup. Remember, the Corellian Council is the Empire's ace in the hole. Find them before there are any more surprises. War in here. I need trained soldiers. Locating nearest Republic squad. Transmitting your location. This is a maze. I could use some local help. Contacting Captain Kentaris. Corsac is tracking you now.
Having the force would sure help right now. Hatching through to the Green Gardens, uploading your coordinates. I assure you, Darth Hadra, this holdout room is impenetrable. The Republic will never break through. Save your breath, Counselor. Even your little hiding place was not immune from the Ion Wall. You've turned the Legislature into a battlefield. Is this your plan to lure the Council back to the Republic? It's never too late to admit you were wrong. <laughs> Even with half of Corellia in flames, the Council still stands with the Empire. After seeing the damage to the legislature, I was expecting an army. You should have come prepared. The holdout room is designed to protect and hide the council. There are no comm stations here. All transmissions are blocked. Your allies are out of reach. Can you face me without your precious Republic? You've done everything you can to avoid a fair fight. You're the last obstacle between the Empire and Corellia. I prefer a quick victory. Then you must be thrilled to see us. When I heard you were going after the Council, I rounded up Corsac's best. I wouldn't miss this for anything. Then you've chosen your fate. Those who resist Imperial rule will die by my hands. Well, counselors, looks like it's just you and your angry constituency now. Acting Corsac Command can arrest heads of state with the Republic's approval. I want all of them. Counselor Balos, too. But I spied on the Empire. I lied to a Sith Lord. I risked my life to help the Republic. You were the first to suggest we join the Empire, Balos. How many credits were you offered to change your mind? Is this true, Counselor Balos? The Empire made overtures, and I introduced them to the Council. Does that even matter now? It does to me. It matters to every man, woman, and child who died trying to undo it. The Council made themselves kings at Corellia's expense. They all deserve to be punished. Counselor Bayless got us here. He's more than made up for it. I don't know if I'll ever make up for it, but I won't let a chance to try go to waste. Thank you. I appreciate what he did for us, but you just let a traitor go free. General Aves will want a status update. Give us a minute to restore communications in here. Can you hear us, General? Coming through fine, Captain. Without the Corellian Council's advice, the Empire's falling back on old tactics. They're not working. Once the Legislature falls, the Empire will be vulnerable. I've got several squads ready to push them off Corellia. But they'll need a signal. 
Broadcast comm in the speaker's courtyard. Your signal will hit every comm station on Corellia, if you can reach it. Just give me the coordinates and I'll move out. The speaker's courtyard is being protected by Darth Decimus, the last of the Dark Council members sent to Corellia. He convinced the Corellian Council to join the Empire. He won't let Corellia go easy. You won't have any backup here. Corsac's holding the Council. The Green Jedi are defending their enclave, and my men are in position. I'm a soldier. It's not my first suicide mission. Hopefully it won't be your last. Once you've defeated Darth Decimus, contact me on the broadcast comm. I'll be waiting for your signal. This is it. One Sith Lord between us and freedom. Corellia's counting on you.
I'd like a word with you when we get back to the ship. Pleased you survived to face me, Major. You've had a short but illustrious career. I've watched your progress across Corellia. The Speaker's courtyard has been witness to it all. From this historic stage, I'll declare Corellia an official member of the Empire. Even your efforts cannot sully that. You really think the average Corellian will stand for that? The Corellians told their council to decide what was best. When the Empire evaded, the council provided coordinates. Coronet City's docks were emptied. Those who resisted were killed. The fleet moved into the shipyards. Imperial troops spread to Capitol Square. Truly a glorious sight. I doubt the Empire got a warm welcome. Did you think the council emptied the docks themselves? More Corellians support the Empire than you realize. One of your founders abandoned you. How much longer until Coruscant follows? Balmora? Ord Mantell? Soon the entire galaxy will realize your weakness. The Empire needs no weapons to destroy the Republic. Only time. You keep waiting. In the meantime, I'll charge my weapon. Do as you like. No weapon can save you now. <laughs> Darth Decimus is defeated, General. Tell your men the legislature is ours. No need to. Broadcast calm just sang it across Corellia. It's up to our reserves to push the Empire out completely. But we're already seeing major retreats. Corellia is free. We're getting ready to declare a formal victory to the Senate. Head for the press room when you're ready. Supreme Chancellor Suresh. Senators. The Republic's taken the legislature, and the Empire's on their last legs. It's all clean up from here. The message went out across Corellia, and I'm proud to relay it to you on Coruscant. We will have our victory. We had plenty of help from our allies, but one woman stood above the rest. We owe our victory to her efforts. On behalf of the Senate, I'd like to thank you for your service to the Republic. The General tells us you were indispensable. General Aves and Captain Kentaris gave the orders. We haven't forgotten. They'll both be honored for their leadership. The Corellian Council's decision to join the Empire must be addressed. Councillor Balos will answer for them. I know you consider us all traitors. But before the Senate condemns us, I'd like a chance to explain. The Corellian Council doubted the Republic's chances of defeating the Empire. We chose to join them, rather than be conquered. Some of my fellow counselors still believe this was the right choice. I believe it brought ruin to Corellia, and war to the Republic. Coming to us helped reverse some of the damage. I've done what I can to help the Republic win. With the Senate's permission, 
I'll spend the rest of my term restoring Corellia. Do you expect the Senate to believe that? You gave Corellia to the Empire once. You might do it again. Counselor Belos risked his life to undo the Council's decision. It's true, Chancellor. If it weren't for Counselor Belos, we'd still be sitting in the red light sector. You have friends in high places, Counselor. Keep your position, but don't betray their trust. Corellia is one of our founding planets. There was no warning before they turned. How many more worlds might be on the brink? You brought Corellia back to the Republic. You have the Senate's attention. How can we prevent other worlds from joining the Empire? We've watched countless worlds fall to the Empire. Every time, the Republic has fought and won them back. The Empire might be willing to sacrifice anything to win, but Republic soldiers are better. We'll never give up and we'll never surrender. Fight with us, not against us. If any Republic worlds want proof, they need only look to the Major's example. Before you go, we'd like to thank you properly. There's no medal or title that equals what you've accomplished. But this should help. First Class Blood Stripes, Corellia's highest honor. Awarded to those who keep fighting despite the odds. Thank you, Captain. I'd be proud to fight with Corsac again. We'd be proud to have you, but I'm hoping our fighting days are nearly over. You freed Corellia from the Empire and set events in motion that may end this war. You deserve more than our thanks. Our victory today sends a message. The Republic may falter, but we will never fall. As long as we keep fighting. Senators, let your voices be heard. Stand and recognize these heroes of the Republic. Outstanding news, sir. We've got a positive fix on the Deadeye's location. Garza's people just finished decrypting the coordinates we sent them. The data points to an Imperial outpost on Hoth. Another labor camp, most likely. Let's get down there and bring those soldiers home. Right behind you, sir. Once we get those men out of there, we can put all this craziness behind us. I just hope we're not too late. Major, good. Now that you've arrived, we can begin operations in earnest. Imperial forces, including General Rapton, have invaded Corellia in full force. Local resistance fighters have barely held them back from total victory. Corellia is the tipping point for the entire war. If the Imperials win here, they could reverse all our hard-fought advances. Corellia won't fall to the Empire on my watch. Your target is the Bastion one of the main centers for logistics and strategic planning in the entire Republic. 
wrapped and seized the Bastion during the invasion. He's clearly hoping to use the information inside to plan his next campaign against us. It's your job to stop him. Just tell me where to begin, General. The Bastion is one of the most heavily secured fortresses in the galaxy. Your team will need a lot of support to take it. To get the necessary manpower into the field, we're working with a local resistance leader, a Corellian security officer named Locke. Local intel can make a big difference. Before he entered Corsac, Locke served in special forces under my command. He's a dependable soldier, and he knows Corellia very well. We'll discuss the details once you arrive. We've set up our command center in a former cantina, the Gilded Descent. I'll move out right away, General. Watch for targets of opportunity, Major. Imperial commando teams are all over the area. See you soon. Garza out. Hot bar, yeah, fucking on your bitch, yeah, that, that, that. Looking up, open the court pot.